Hi, I'm Tom Larkin, uh, go by Lark, Main Jet Air Shows, and this is a Subsonics, runs on a Jet A or JP4, JP5, JP8. Right. Show you how to get in the aircraft. The only thing yellow on the aircraft are these handles right here. These are the entry handles. This one you pull back, it's spring loaded, and this one you lift up, and then the campy just opens right up. If the campy's jammed, best place to hit it is right here in the corner. Just hit it hard in the corner, it'll crack, and then open it up like an eggshell. Just peel it off. Now that we have the campy open, if you need to tear the campy off, you can tear it off any time. It's just plexiglass and light aluminum, so you know, go ahead and do that if you need to. You can see I'm strapped in, uh, double harness, traditional. You just lift, that pops the first one, same side, lift, pops the second one, and basically I'm free to be pulled out of the aircraft. When it comes to uh, cutting off the fuel, there is an emergency fuel cutoff right here behind my head, coming out of the top of the tank. But the overriding master is right here. On the inside of the throttle, there's a red switch. That's a master switch. If you flip that forward, that cuts off all electronics and all electrics to the engine. So um, you, you can pull the power back, flip these switches, and, and that's all great. But this one switch does everything, kills all power to the engine and to the fuel pumps. Uh, to turn off the power to, uh, to the aircraft, you'll see this in the on position, the master with green lights. You just turn that switch off, that kills all power. As you come in the aircraft, there's a couple things that are very different. One, uh, the jet fuel is right in the cockpit with me. It says it holds 40 gallons, but I take off usually in an air show with about 25. Um, this is a ballistic chute. There's a rocket that propels out the back, the top of the aircraft right there behind the ballistic chute to pull it out. And there's a handle right over here, a big red T handle, which right now has a safety ribbon going through it. And I pull that handle, the ballistic chute goes up. So if you're extracting me, don't pull the handle because it won't be pinned. So uh, don't pull that handle or you're going to get scared when that uh, rocket fires. I also have an Amanda switch in, which is a, a G impact switch for the smoke system. So in the case of an abrupt halt, the fuel pump or the, uh, all the electrics get cut off to the smoke system. So that smoke pump should stop. Structure of the aircraft is all aluminum. It's 20 thou. So uh, just peel it open like a, like a you know, aluminum foil, because <laughs> that's literally what it is. And uh, you, can, you can pop it anywhere and just start peeling it apart to get me out. And the jet's powered by a jet engine back there. It's up on the top. It's only 43 pounds, puts out 258 pounds of thrust at sea level. It's cool to the touch about two minutes after shutdown. So uh, uh, just sucks air in, blows out the back, and the smoke oil actually is shot into the rear. Yeah, if there's any fire on the engine, uh, if and when I get on the ground, just douse it with normal uh, whatever you use for JPA or uh, Jet A or uh, JP4. So I'm literally sitting on eight gallons of smoke oil. It's a hollow seat pan that I sit in. And uh, so the smoke oil is with me, and I'm leaning against the gas tank. If you find me upside down, get a couple guys on the tail, just flip the jet over, it's 500 pounds empty weight. And then uh, once you get me flipped over, either use the yellow handles to get me out or break the top and get me out, but uh, no problem either way. And if I'm still upside down, when you uh, lift the tail up and you're getting me out, please catch me. Don't let me break my neck uh, falling out of the jet upside down.